Hello guys, I'm Dad. And this is Seven. Say hi, Seven. Hi, Seven. Today we're going to make a mask out of styrofoam. As you can see, Seven is holding up a piece of styrofoam. We're going to dissolve it and, with this stuff. And, and look. Acetone, which is nasty stuff. you got to be careful with and, that. And look at and see, look at this side of it and look at this side. This side is the same side of the other side. Right. See, guys? We're also going to do a little bit of plaster of Paris. We purchased a mask from Party City. The forehead stopped right here, so we just taped it up with a little cardboard. Is it we're gonna, recording? Yes. We're going to patch up the eyes with a little bit of masking tape so that we can pour this stuff in here. Then we'll have something over which we can put the melted styrofoam. Here we go. All right. Here, we're covering up the eye holes so that the plaster won't leak out. We're going to use the face as a bowl fill it up with plaster. We also want to seal okay. the cardboard so okay. it doesn't get wet. Okay. And we're covering up the nose and mouth there, of course. Okay. That, um, um, and that's what you're doing? Right. And then we put the release agent, which okay. is just plain old Vaseline. Oh, Take turns. Let I, both buddies have a turn. I didn't know that stuff is called Vaseline. Yep. Now we're mixing the plaster. Yeah. Should be two parts plaster and to one part water. And it's kind of like Platzo Gel 10. Right. A lot like Platzo Gel 10. So now we pour the plaster in the mold. Yeah, we do. And then we're going to shake it around to make sure it settles down in the nose and all the little necks, nicks and crannies. Oh, okay. And we actually added a little more after this. Okay. About another whole then, batch. Then we, now then, we're demolding. Then, then we try to take the cast off, but we can't because it's magical. But wait, now, wait, wait. Here it comes. Here it comes. Ta-da! There it is. That's what we'll pour. While there is some residual Vaseline left on the plaster cast, we're going to add some more to make sure it releases. Um, and the uh, styrofoam sticks onto the mask, kind of like plastic gel tan, and it's thicker than the mask. Right. That's right. Next, we're going to take some acetone, pour right here. <clears throat> it's bad stuff, all it does is dry out your skin. You don't want to drink it. So now we're going to take this, push it right in there, and let's get a close up. Starts to melt. That looks nasty. It is nasty. We're going to keep it's melting the acetone. Just like that? Strong. You want to melt some? Yeah. Push it, push it. It looks like we're breaking the bowl. It's almost gone. Now we're ready to apply the melted styrofoam. We used a plaster cast because the acetone would melt the mask we got from Party City. And hey, an important point, you have to use a vent fan. This stuff is uh, really toxic to breathe. We use styrofoam plates for the mixture as well. And this stuff is like a slow motion lava liquid. You have to babysit it, constantly patting it and reshaping it over an hour or two. And so here you see where it's been drying a little bit. The wrinkles are just a characteristic of the melted styrofoam. And we're having to pat the edges, as you see there, to milk the stuff back up toward the center of the mask because it's running down, that slow, slow motion lava liquid kind of characteristic. We also had to add a little bit more melted styrofoam to his nose and his lips because it melted so much that the, the nose of the casting was poking through the melted styrofoam. So you really have to babysit for a while. Once in a while a bubble of styrofoam will pop and out will come a little acetone, which is helping it dry. And we're letting it dry five down. Right, so that that liquidy lava will now run toward the nose instead of away from the nose. Now we're demolding that! Right, the demol. We used compressed air because his nose was kind of still stuck. The compressed air really helps it to come loose. Yeah! And this is still a little flexible. We're going to have to let it dry some more. Yes! See how it's flexible? It should be a hard plastic consistency when it's done. Hello 
folks, we're back, and as you can see, the mask has dried. It's been about 24 hours. It was on there like this, and then 7D molded it like that. Now 7's going to try it on for us. Go ahead, 7. <laughs> Did you, do you have anything to say, 7? Um, this mask and the casting came for the mask. Because when we put it off, there was a thing inside there. It was um, last door parents that came for the mask. And, and it has those bubbles there because God made those plaster door parents there. Right. Now we're putting on the strap. The acetone is still wet on the inside, so you might get a little runnage seepage. We cut it about even with the temple and uh, you want to be very careful as the kids move in for a close look that you don't jab them in the eye with the X-Acto knife. We use heavy duty elastic from uh, Joann's Fabrics. Almost done now. Um, and action. Okay folks, Seven is now going to try this on. And there we go. A brand new scary mask. And now I believe Seven wanted to try it on our cupcake bear, right Seven? Yeah. So you stay there, I'll get cupcake bear. Here he is. Now we're going to try it on cupcake bear. Go ahead, buddy. Oh, good job. No. I think cupcake bear, cupcake bear's head might be a little big. Let's see. There we go. There. And now Cupcake Bear has on our scary old man mask, burn victim mask. All right, folks, thanks for watching. You have anything else to say, Seven? Um, the mask is dirty, and here that means some. The, 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 the edges are a little thick and nasty on these parts. See all the nasty on these parts? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, folks, see you next time.